Good day, Church of the Way. Well, our lockdown has been extended for another two weeks, so today is day 15. That's okay, because our relationship with God doesn't change, nor does our faith and our trust in Him. And so we're in Matthew chapter 4 today, and uh, just as our relationship is consistent, so too we see Jesus being tested in His relationship with the Lord. And so I trust you enjoying the chapter of day challenges, spending time in the Word together. And uh, we've got a great team of, on staff here at Church of the Way. And so Vince and Justine are actually going to be facilitating our encouragements this week. So I want to encourage you, keep up your time in the Word. And remember too to send us a WhatsApp to the church number if you're ill with COVID or if you're needing to isolate at home. And uh, any other prayer requests as well. So we really want to be praying for you. And also we want to see how we can assist with practical things like running errands and stuff if you're stuck at home. So I'm going to hand over to Vince and Justine. Enjoy. Good day, Church of the Way. Uh, We are reading the passage out of Matthew 4 today. But first things first. Justine, would you like some chocolate? Thanks, Vince. But today I'm going to have to say no. I'm really trying to be healthy again. It's it's good for you. I know, but no, not today. Thank you. Thank you, though. Hmm. But back to the devotional this morning, Matthew 4, what a beautiful passage. It opens up with Jesus getting tempted in the wilderness and being led into it. And then it follows on to Jesus calling his disciples and also being equipped for ministry and stepping into that platform. And then it follows on to teaching the word of God. And wow, so many different principles and principles and values are shown for us to understand Jesus and his role here on earth. Today, what really stood out for me was more specifically Jesus overcoming the wilderness and how we can also then personally overcome that. Hmm, That's true, yes. But Justine, would you like some chocolate again? (sighs) Like I said before, Vince, I really shouldn't. I really can't. But thank you. Back to the passage. Verse 1 to 11 we are focusing on today. Uh, This is where Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted. Mm. And this is a fantastic illustration of Jesus being fully God, but also fully man. And after identifying with sinners in his baptism, the previous passage, Jesus then identified again with them in the severe temptation. The Spirit leads us not into temptation, but the Spirit leads us to a situation or a circumstance where we are then spiritually tested and seen where we are spiritually lacking or where we need to grow. Mm. And that's great what Jesus is showing to us. Yeah. Jesus really endured temptation to identify and relate with us as human beings and show us how we can overcome that and also then to show us His own holy and sinless character. We read Matthew 3 last week Friday and it was a remarkable contrast between the glory following Jesus' baptism and the challenge by being tempted by the devil. It went from the cool waters of the Jordan to now the barren wilderness. It was then a huge crowd around him, and now Jesus found himself in solitude and silence, where the Holy Spirit rested upon him like a dove, and now the Spirit is leading him into the wilderness. The voice of the Father was calling him Beloved Son, and now the Beloved Son is listening to, is hearing the voice of Satan the tempter. The anointed Son is now being attacked by Satan. So, yeah, many different things. Yeah. Would you like some chocolate? (sighs) Like I said, Vincent, I really shouldn't. I really can't. But everyone's doing it. Yeah, but I'm not everyone. I shouldn't be like everyone. But no, thank you. Temptation is a certainty for everyone. Being tempted makes it so easy to give in and be relieved by the situation and then not trusting Father God. Mm -hmm. And... And we need to trust in Father to give us the strength and the strategy to overcome it. When Jesus said these words, it is written, he knew the exact weapon that he needed to use in that situation. And that was the word of God. So not only using the word, but the specific word, knowing the word and applying the word that he needed. He relied on the power and the truth of God's word. And Jesus was willing to fight the battle as a man. He could have easily rebuked Satan into another galaxy and resisted this whole situation. And, but he wanted to relate with us. And it's something that we can duplicate and we can connect with. Mm. This is so astounding that the creator of the universe would use 
these words, and especially the word of God, to withstand the devil and who is trying to trip him up. Yeah. And it's important for us to remember that we can resist temptation by countering the, de the devil's seductive lies, by using the Word of God, by shining the light of God's Word in the situation. When we are ignorant, not knowing the true Word, we aren't able to be fully armed and protected against the fight of temptation. And then also it's important to remember that God's angels came and ministered to Jesus after he was finished, after, after the devil had left him once he was tempted. Mm. And once he came through that, and it's important to remember for us today that Father God will never forsake his children who endure t through temptation. God will always minister to us and meet our needs as we endure temptation. The Word of God is alive and it's so relevant for us today. And the encouragement is then for us to remember that it is around us. It's there for us to use, but we have to then take it and apply it. The Word of God is a weapon that anyone can use when they are all alone. It's a weapon that you can use to defend your sonship. It's a weapon that you can use to defeat temptation. And it's a weapon that is effective once you take it to understand it and then also apply it. We are currently facing turmoil in many areas of our lives. All are different, but we have something even greater to overcome this, and that is the Word of God. It has the capacity to bring life to everything once it is actually used. Mm. Yeah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word today. We thank you for the life that is in this word, Father. And though, Father, we do sometimes trip up because of temptation, Father, we pray that you will give us the, 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 the means to resist the devil, Father. And we thank you for the word that you give us, Lord, but to help us to put that word in our hearts and not just have it as head knowledge, Father, but have it come alive in us, Lord, and help us to use the right words in the right circumstance to resist that which is trying to make us, make us fall or make us to trip. And Father, we thank you for the life in us, Lord, and thank you that we can always trust in you. We pray your life over the congregation as well, Father. Let there be life in them. Let them trust your word, Father. In this time, in this time of struggle with all the things that are happening around us, Father, we only look to you. And we thank you for that, Father. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.